Welcome to Windows Lab. Today we'll be going over how to use Disk Manager. Uh, first off, you're going to click on Start. Right click on Computer. If you're using Windows XP, you're going to use My Computer. Uh, for 7 and Vista, you're going to use Computer. Right click, go to Manage. You can see that it's going to require administrator rights if you don't have administrator rights. So right now I have three additional hard drives I've uh, installed. Uh, once we go to Disk Manager, they will pop up. So here you can see we have Disk Manager loading up, and now I have three new desks that I've just plugged in, never been used. So in this in this case, we're going to choose from the two types of uh, boot partitions. You have the master boot record or the new GPT, which is a uh, if you're going to use a boot off of a hard, larger hard drive over four terabytes, um, you'd want to select that, and then also have the appropriate, uh, you know, BIOS settings to handle that. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. So now you can see they're in the disk manager. I go ahead and make this larger. So here we can do a couple different things. We can right-click on a disk, and we can. Uh, Convert it to, uh, we can create a new span, a new stripe, a new mirror. Uh, so let's say, like, take an example here. Let's say if we want a mirror. Uh, mirroring is basically a RAID level. So we can take two drives. So I'm going to take two and three, add them together. So essentially, what mirroring does is it makes it appear as one big hard drive. So it's still going to be the same size because you're duplicating but you're getting fault tolerance. So if we click next, click finished, here you're gonna see that we're getting a little operation message. This will take a moment or two. All right, so now we essentially have one hard drive that shows up on our system. So you can see here we have now one hard drive. So you can see we have my C drive and the E drive, which is one. All right, now you can see my three, uh, three gig hard drive. You can see that it's blank. So that's pretty much what you need to do if you want to make a quick RAID. Remember, there's a difference between hard level RAID and software. This is a software RAID that we set up. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and close this up. Go back into Disk Manager. So some of the things you can do is you can right click on your uh, C drive. You can see here I have this free space. So if I need to use more free space, I can click extend and then click next. And clicking next. And now I've used up all that free space. Now if I want to shrink it, I would just right click and shrink. Uh, one thing you need to note when you're going to shrink a hard drive you need to make sure you have enough free space so if you have in this case uh, 70 gigs of data you can't shrink a hard drive so you'd have to make sure you remove some of the data first so here I can then turn around and say and then just go with the default there and let it shrink uh, one thing you can't shrink uh, left or right it's always going to shrink from the uh, take it from the far and right side so if you had multiple partitions and you had this one here and you want to make this one larger you cannot say windows won't shrink it this way it will only shrink it from right to left okay this concludes our lab for the day thanks for watching